Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Vio Essentials. This is just something that Apple, well, you know, we had to expect it. Apple releasing potentially a VR headset that is not going to be worth 3,900 or 3,500 or whatever dollars it's supposed to be, but close to 39,000, 39,000 dollars everybody let's go into the article right now this 40k vision pro mod adds 18k gold or carat gold to apple's headset now honestly speaking we all know that apple wants vr to be desirable before it becomes a necessity of course because if it's not desirable then people just don't want to be in vr all those who are in vr today are more or less either parents who want their kids to do something or then they don't get to trouble them, or it's because we are early crazy adopters who love technology so much, we want to be at the forefront before all the other people in the world, or it's just for people who, well, who just want to experience something new. But for the majority of people who want to be in VR, they need to have that desire. They need to feel like they, they don't know why, they just need to be in VR, but they don't really need to be in vr if that makes any sense so they need to want to be in vr and that's what apple is doing so you probably didn't look at the 3500 vision pro that apple revealed at its worldwide developers conference wwdc and think you know what i want to spend more than that but just in case you feel like throwing even more money at tim cook and friends a company has made a custom 39900 dollars edition of the headsets that will let you do just that the absolute absurdly modified version is made by caviar a company known for its diamond stubbed iphones and other ridiculous ostentatious products instead of apple's silvery aesthetics the modified cbr edition features over 1.5 kg of 18 karat gold 1.5 kg <laughs> Guys, do you know that this headset here is about 400 grams and I, after two hours, three hours, I mean, even after two, two hours, I need to remove it. This headset here weighs below 500 grams, the DPVR E4. I need to remove it after two hours. This is the, 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 the HP Reverb G2, which weighs about, I don't know, something like 750 or 800 grams or whatever. After a while, I need to take it off. Can you imagine putting a 1.5 kg VR headset on your head? It's not only stupid, it is unsafe. It's going to break your bones, your shoulders. Dude, just don't, oh man. I mean, I would buy it, I would buy it, but then I would just leave it in a nice, really, you know, security box or something somewhere, just to, as an art piece, maybe. Certainly not wary. I mean, that's just freaking crazy. <laughs> All right, anyway, let's let's carry on. Um, so 1.5 karat gold paired with black Connolly leather that is supplied to the British Royal Court Rolls and Rolls Royce. Mm, here's the picture of the actual headset. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below. Leave a comment below. Ding, ding, ding. Leave a comment below, guys. Let me know what you think of this. Do you like the design? Do you not like it? I mean, what do you think? I mean, just being able to purchase a gold color, let's just forget it's actually 1.5 kg of, you know, uh, 18 karat or whatever gold. Let's just imagine it's gold color. Would you buy a $3,500, you know, uh, Apple Vision Pro if it was gold color anyway, regardless if it's real gold or not? Let me know in the comments. There were already concerns that Apple's headset could be on the heavy side with the company apparently prepping an extra headband to help ease the load. Now, guys, there was some actually there were some um, reports that they've been doing some testing with various people to use the headphone and it's not comfortable, guys. After one or two hours, they have said that during the focus groups, people are just not comfortable with it. So it definitely is heavier than what it looks like. It probably is, I would say, between 250 to at least 400 grams, I would say. You know, nothing is nothing is great with a headband. It doesn't matter what headband you have on your head. If it's not a pair of glasses like this, then at the end of the day, a VR headset is going to be felt on the face, on the head. After a while, it's just, it's just how it is. It doesn't matter what we put on our head, an extra band here, extra band there, extra band around our neck. <laughs> whatever i mean it you feel it after a while so the strapping additional 1.5 kg 3.3 pounds by the way of gold onto your face might not do anything good for your neck exactly but at least everyone will know you can afford to burn cash like there's no tomorrow right would you burn your cash leave a comment below if you would just do it for the sake of doing it. i would do it 
but only because I would never open it and then I would sell it 20 years later, gold by that time, the price of gold whew, would have skyrocketed as well. It would be the first, the world's first Vision Pro, probably not that many to be bought or sold as well. So, you know, not a lot of supply, but the demand in the future, go on eBay, you'll buy it for 40, 40 grand today, 20 years from now, you can sell it for maybe 100 grand or 200 grand. Who knows, maybe 30, 40 years from now, you could sell it for a million or two million. Who knows, so that's why I would buy it if I could, if I could. Would you leave a comment below? All right, so let's just finish off the article. Um, so Caviar's take on the Vision Pro will be limited to 24 units. Oh my God, 24 units. This is like buying a Lamborghini, guys, or or, 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 or super hypercar that is very limited on the road. These things fetch for much more money, some of them, than when they're originally bought for. So that's what I'm trying to say. This is actually an investment, not so much you know, to play VR in. Although if you have millions and millions and millions, then you could do both, but then good luck to your neck. All right, let's finish the uh, article. A pop will rake, uh, so, so $40,000 a pop will rake almost a million for the company. Okay, assuming there are enough gullible people to snap all of them up, you could get almost 274 Vision Pros for that cost, making Apple's headset almost feel affordable. Well, not really. But at the end of the day, guys, as I said, I think this is more of an investment. Therefore, it's not for gullible people. This is actually smart money because as far as I'm concerned, I really do believe that Apple's products in the future, especially with the Apple car that's coming out, they're doing so many different things that we don't even know about that they're going to be coming out. This is going to be a novelty item. After the Vision Pro, there will no longer be a Vision Pro. It will be a Vision Pro 2, Vision Pro 4, whatever. That means that the Vision Pro number one, the first one, is like the Oculus Quest 1. If you have a Quest 1 today and you never opened it in your life, leave it in the box for 10, 20 years, your $400 or $800 headset Quest 1 will be worth literally maybe 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, maybe 100 grand. 30, 40, 50 years from now. So, you know, it is an investment in my opinion. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below. To be fair, Caviar's redesign does away with one controversial aspect of the Vision Pro. Eyesight, the feature that displays a user eyes while they're using the headset. Caviar's version covers the front glass panel with, you guessed it, more 18 karat gold, blocking off your peep ear and allowing you to preserve your privacy, okay? As if the product couldn't get any more prosperous or preposterous, though that golden shield can be flipped up to reveal the user's eyes after all. Caviar compares the mechanism to Tom Ford flip-up glasses, but will let you make up your own mind on that one. And then finally, sadly, anyone wishing to purchase one of the Caviar's Vision Pro headsets will have to wait as they don't go on sale until the fall 2024, of course, perhaps that will give you enough time to reassess the spending priorities. So there you guys, there you have it. Put your money aside. If you are looking to invest in something, although no, fun, no financial advice, of course, but you know, who knows? It could fetch a lot of money in the future if you do buy this, seriously, right? I mean, if you're a collector, if you're someone who knows about this, leave a comment below, love to know your thoughts. Have you ever bought anything, you know, that was made of gold, you kept it, you didn't wrap it up, or you, or not necessarily made of gold, just anything, even a, a, a Pez dispenser, a Pez dispenser. Did you guys watch the Pez dispenser documentary on Netflix? It's just crazy how much people spent for a Pez dispenser. Anyway, there you go, guys. See you in another video very soon. Smash the likes, hit that notification bell so you're notified of all the awesome videos and time sensitive videos that we launch on the channel. Until then, take it easy. Bye for now, guys. Bye.